What is peace? How do we define peace? And how can we achieve it? The essence of peace lies in knowing that we are all one global family that must come together in harmony. The Sunhok Peace Prize promotes sustainable human development, conflict resolution, and ecological conservation as its core mission for peace. The inaugural Sunhok Peace Prize focused on climate change and the food crisis and selected His Excellency Anote Tong, the former president of Kiribati, for his struggles to address the climate crisis. And Dr. Modadugu Gupta, a leading fisheries scientist from India, whose innovative work in aquaculture technology helped spawn the Blue Revolution. The 2017 Sunhok Peace Prize focused on the global refugee crisis. The prize was awarded to Dr. Gina Strada, a hero who fought for the rights of refugees and war victims to receive medical care. And to Dr. Sakina Yakubi, the mother of refugee education, who proposed a fundamental solution for refugee resettlement. The 2019 Sunhok Peace Prize focused on human rights and human development in Africa. The laureates were Ms. Waris Deary, who contributed greatly to the advancement of women's rights through her activities against female genital mutilation. And Dr. Akinwumi Adesina, who led Africa's development through agricultural innovation and promoted good governance in Africa. In commemoration of the centenary of the birth of the founder, Reverend Dr. Sun Myung Moon, the fourth award ceremony was held in 2020 and focused on the founder's vision of peace, interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universal values. Sunhak During his 10 years in office, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon led efforts toward world peace amidst new global challenges and threats. He fought against climate change, a crisis unlike any other in human history. He put the brakes on the acceleration of climate change to which the world had been helpless and his efforts led to the adoption of the Paris Agreement in 2015. It was a landmark agreement for humanity and the planet. With an ambitious vision to create a world where human rights are guaranteed, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon gathered the world leaders in 2015. Under his passionate leadership and sincere love for humanity, the world leaders unanimously agreed on 17 ambitious and far-reaching goals for all humanity to lead better lives in harmony with nature. Of 
because it has been an extraordinary honor and privilege for me to serve as United Nations Secretary General for 10 years. At the same time, I had been living under heavy uh, sense of burden. Now, how could I do better? And how could I do more for the, to make a better world for all the people? So my uh, role uh, as a former Secretary General is to promote and raise awareness of global citizenship. If I know I'll be dying tomorrow, if I have even faintest strength, still I'll be trying to do what I have been doing now until the last day. In 2012, Mackie Saul was elected as the president of the Republic of Senegal at the age of 51. He promised to practice good governance through rule of law and transparency. He is taking on the challenges of corruption and prolonged recession. where the country's president, Macky Sall, has announced the reduction of his presidential term from seven to five years. In March of 2016, Senegal held a constitutional referendum to amend the constitution to reflect a more mature democracy, accelerating Senegal's transformation. President Sall started to transform Senegal into a model democratic country in West Africa. President Saul is ambitiously pursuing Plan Senegal Emergent, a project targeting economic revival, improvement in quality of life, and good governance free of corruption. His efforts are bringing remarkable economic growth Bishop Yunan was born as a Palestinian refugee in Jerusalem. Jerusalem, the tinderbox of the Middle East. As an Arab Christian walking the path of a clergy, he dreamed of a peaceful world without religious conflict. We have to discuss in interfaith dialogue about Jerusalem. How can Jerusalem be uh, the center of justice and peace? Is to speak how Jerusalem can be for five elements, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Palestinian, and Israelis. Jerusalem is called the city of peace, but its history has been far from peaceful. Bishop Yunan has dedicated himself to bringing religious harmony to this land where religious division and dispute has endured. And Bishop Yunan is one of the few Palestinian religious leaders who is truly respected within Jewish circles. And in 2002, amidst a lot of violence taking place here between Israelis and Palestinians, for the first time ever, the religious leaders of Christianity, Islam and Judaism were convened together. And the key Christian personalities were Patriarch Michel Sabach, the Catholic Patriarch, and Bishop Muni Bunan, who was then Lutheran Bishop of Jerusalem. That stage then led to the creation of the Council of the Religious Institutions of the Holy Land. His commitment really um, kept it together and ensured through his own credibility with all the sides. We as religious people, we have always, you know, to give a vision for peace. My identity cannot be completed, cannot be in its fullness, unless it serves God and the neighbor. 
Bishop Yunnan continues to pray for peace in the lowliest place. The laureates of the Sunhat Peace Prize demonstrate how one person can peacefully improve the lives of millions. Peace will be realized when the barriers between nations, religions, races, cultures, and ideologies are overcome. The key to lighting the path to a new era of a peaceful civilization is a love of humanity that treats each other as members of one global family.